there for covering it. And then the way the same network, CNN, shut down Amber Lyon when she exposed the same type of activity in Bahrain, the way they censored her. They can sometimes be very real, but sometimes they can be very fake. If you remember the Iraq War and how you had the fake uh, footage of the correspondents putting on the gas mask, it was really pretty comical. Uh, we've got that footage. Maybe we'll show that to you as B-roll for those of you watching it. But they can be real and they can be really fake. So we're going to talk about that later on. But let's go to uh, some of your calls right now. Uh, let's go to, let's see, who did I have? Chad in South Carolina. Chad? Hello, Mr. Knight. Hey, how you doing? Very good. I actually called in about the Federal Reserve Bank, but I wanted to comment on the Bordeaux and uh, Tenement Square. So. Yeah, sure, um, go ahead. Now I guess the, they'll close Gitmo, or Obama will finally close Gitmo. We see why it's been open for so long. And then on the Tenement Square, um, it'd be good if y'all can get an uncropped photo of the famous photo. I remember Alex Jones saying one time that those tanks go on for miles. It's not just like three tanks. Yeah. And then... Um, about the Federal Reserve Bank, it, it is a private bank, right? It's a yes. private company. Yes, absolutely. Are they a monopoly? Yes, they are so a they monopoly. Have no competition. That's right. So like AT and T, and when they were a monopoly and they were broke down. Okay, so I wonder why, like the Koch brothers and Donald Trump or somebody doesn't get together and compete with them. Maybe that's our like. Well, there was a Federal Reserve Act that was passed in 1913 that was manipulated by J.P. Morgan. He had manipulated a. a Panic earlier before that, J.P. Morgan and other bankers got together ostensibly to keep from having any more bank panics, any more runs on the banks. And so they created the Federal Reserve System. That's a Federal Reserve Act. So essentially, it's an act of the government creating that private monopoly. It is not essentially anymore, as people have said, it's no more federal than uh, Federal Express. But they do have a monopoly on that. And of course, there's many aspects that we could talk about that. Uh, I would suggest that you take a look at a report that I did back at the 100th anniversary of the Federal Reserve it was just this last uh, December. And I did a report uh, called It's a Wonderful Lie. And I kind of compared the way uh, uh, in It's a Wonderful Life, the way the banker in that movie manipulated a bank panic, the way he was driven to take over everything in that small town. I compared that to the history of the Federal Reserve. That was censored very quickly by... YouTube, even though the entire movie, It's a Wonderful Life, was up on YouTube and has been up there for a couple of years and has had about a million views, they took down my political commentary that was just a few clips and my comments about it. They took that down claiming copyright violation. That tells us where we are headed with CISPA, SOPA, ACTA, PIPA, these different uh, means of censorship that are masquerading as copyright protection, the fact that they can take something down without any due process, without you having a chance to have your say-so about that. And that's something that we're going to be talking about later when we talk about the media. Uh, thank you, Chad. Let's go to uh, Will in Texas. Will? David, can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Go ahead. Hey, pleasure speaking with you. This uh, summer is my 14th year as an info warrior, so oh, uh, great. it's a huge pleasure yeah, speaking with you. Um, yeah, maybe I don't, I don't listen every day, um, but I listen regularly. I'm not sure if you've covered this um, there at InfoWars. Um, my brother is a Border Patrol agent in South Texas at the largest checkpoint, one of the largest checkpoints in the U.S., and he sent me a photo yesterday of just ranks of families uh, coming from Mexico. And, you know, I support immigration. I'm immigrating out of the United States myself, and so I'm, I'm going through an immigration process. So I respect them. Um, he, he tells me that, that there are so many immigrants coming across that they're giving them notice to appear paperwork and then buying them a ticket, a bus ticket, anywhere inside the United States, and that that's been going on for almost two months, that they're just shipping them into the United States, just rank after rank of uh, families. So I just wanted to let you guys know, and uh, I'm trying to get some documentation so I can send it to show tips so you have some actual memos or something to work with, but uh, yes. if anyone else out there wants to cover that or look into it, that'd be awesome. Well, it truly is amazing, but it is also part of this globalist agenda. You know, throughout Europe, they have the Eurosceptic parties have been pushing back against the financial control. You know, we we're just talking this last caller had questions about the Federal Reserve and central banks. 
What they were trying to do was enforce centralized global control through a currency, but another part of that was through uncontrolled immigration. Nowhere have they done that more so than in the United States. We simply cannot have open borders and a welfare state. It will bankrupt the country, but that's what they desire to do. They want to bankrupt the country and push us into competing groups that they can control, pitting one group against another. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to Harvest talk about Tiananmen Square. Harvest White is the Tiananmen world's Square. first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We're going to be taking your calls. I want to give you a little bit of news, though, before I go to uh, Al in Maryland. This is a story up from Paul Joseph Watson today. Secret service to track Twitter users in real time. The federal agency will use a tool to send notification to users 
This is from a uh, request to purchase software. So we can learn from this, as Paul Joseph Watson has done so many times, his excellent research, looking through what the federal government is proposing to buy, finding out the capabilities and uh, that they're looking for, the specifications. And we can see then what they're planning to do. Now, in this particular case, on this solicitation that was posted this week, uh, the Secret Service announced that it intends to use the tool to undertake, listen to this, sentiment analysis, sentiment analysis, influencer identification. In other words, where are they getting their information? How do they feel about things? Access to their historical Twitter data, the ability to detect sarcasm. Oh, that would be good if they could start to learn how to do that. And heat maps that will show user trends. Not only that, but they're going to be able to send notification to users. So in case you're not intimidated enough by knowing that the government is watching and listening to everything you're doing, they can send you a direct notification to tell you and to intimidate you. But I want to go back to this thing about their ability to detect sarcasm. If you remember, it was uh, back in 2012 that uh, they had a story about uh, a couple of British travelers who were coming to America and they tweeted that they were going to destroy America. In other words, a slang for partying. And that they were going to go to Hollywood Boulevard in LA. That's where they were traveling. And they were going to dig up Marilyn Monroe. Well, it appears that they're going to have to make this software a lot smarter than the current live agents who are working for the TSA, for Homeland Security, for the Secret Service, because <laughs> these guys really believed that they were not only these, these two, a, a guy and a girl, that they were going to destroy America. That was their intention. And as part of that, I guess, they were going to uh, dig up Marilyn Monroe. And as they point out... Uh, Marilyn Monroe is entombed in a stone crypt, so they were going to need more than uh, just a shovel. But these guys were interrogating them, wanted to know where their shovels were. They took them away, handcuffed, and took them to a jail in L.A., kept them in separate cells for 12 hours, interrogated them, and then eventually deported them. So hopefully when the Secret Service starts tracking all these uh, Twitter feeds, uh, they will be a little bit more intelligent than their actual agents. Uh, don't hold your breath. So we're going to see what happens with that. Let's go to Al in Maryland. Al? Afternoon. Hey, how Afternoon, you doing? Dave. Uh, I'm going to get to my point, ladies and gentlemen. Where we're living in 1939, Eastern Europe at this time. And it's very important for people to understand that Area 51 was all Tesla. Everything that you're holding in your hands is weaponized. All smart appliances, everything is, has been weaponized. I personally believe that chemtrails are turning the oceans and all waters into battery acid, etc. cetera. Uh, I believe we're going to have a July 1st cyber attack, which is going to move us into the cashless society. They're running curfews in Baltimore right now, and that's your cue. When they start running these curfews, and I mean on regular folks, this is your cue to understand they're going to roll out something serious. I believe the bankers jumped from wherever the hell they jumped from, and uh, 23 bankers, top echelon. Uh, I believe that Obama is being run by the Umbra. I do not believe that he's uh, any kind. We know who he is, do we not? Well, you know, Al, I, I agree that they are planning for something. We see this with everything that they're doing. I believe that their time frame is still 2020, 2025, unless that happens. I mean, that's an approximate time frame that they're looking for. And I think it's kind of interesting that no matter what they say about the future, they have stuck to this time frame, even as we get closer to it. So now we're about six to ten years away from that time frame. They keep sticking to that. I believe that they understand, as I've said before, that not only does history rhyme, but it also has a rhythm. Uh, that's something that Strauss and Howe talked about in a book called The Fourth Turning. They believe that we're coming up to a crisis event. This is a book that originally they wrote a book called Generations in 1991. They repeated it in 1997 called The Fourth Turning. They were a little bit more specific about that, focusing at that time on what they thought was going to be about 10 years away, an event about 2007, 2008, that they said was going to really shake the core of society, start to set in motion things that are going to ultimately result in some kind of a massive transformation of society. And I believe that uh, the elites who are planning these things, the people who are at Bilderberg, the people who are operating the United States government at the behest, they're aware of this timing. They are planning for this. They're planning for major social unrest. We need to look at it, and as a previous caller that was talking to Alex said, we need to 
know the power of love that can overcome the love of power. We need to make our own plans for liberty. And part of that is keeping information free. When we come back right after the break, we're going to talk about what has happened in China for the last 25 years in suppressing what happened at Tiananmen Square. So stay with us. We're on the march. 